Julia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. For today's video I'm actually going to be doing a YouTube q and I feel like we haven't had a little sit down and chat for so long because obviously I'm constantly just doing like fun challenges and things. And I've got a cup of tea here because I feel like that's what like every YouTuber does, like they just grab a cup of tea. Wow it is literally smoking and just have a little chat with you guys. It looks really dark as well, I promise it's actually not that strong, it's just because I've got almond milk in it. <laughs> or almond, 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 not too sure. weird we're going to talk about money we're going to talk about brand deals basically just everything to do with youtube i know for one that even before when i started doing youtube i was so interested in these videos maybe because i secretly wanted to start but purely because i'm just a very nosy person and just wanted to know you know all the tea i am going to be covering up names though on the questions because i just feel like people probably don't want their names to be told on youtube and asking these guys of questions so i've got all my questions here and you guys went in like there are so so many questions and i mean i'm just going to answer them for you guys i'm going to try and be as truthful as it's a fly as i was saying i'm going to try and be as honest and truthful as possible and hopefully shed some light on the world of youtube I do quickly want to say youtube is such like a varied place so everyone's experiences with things are totally different it really just does depend on the person and the youtuber and the following i'm not speaking for the whole world of youtube just my world of youtube so a question i got a lot is how do i edit what do i use to edit so i personally use imovie i know that a lot of people use final cut pro but i just cannot justify spending like 300 pounds on editing software a lot of videos on youtube people do use final cut pro and i wish that i could just use it but as i said i just cannot justify it you can tell that they are really good videos they just have really good like transitions and just so many things that you can't actually do on imovie but i personally think that imovie is absolutely fine i really love using it i've really got a hang of it now and there are so so many tutorials online to do it basically my editing isn't really that advanced i literally like the zoom in and clip sometimes i might dabble in you know my voice up high but that's pretty much it and obviously just like cropping it all together and the only transitions i really use i think it's cross blur and slide to the left also if i'm putting on like my social things i'll put it on screen so you guys can see it's probably already been on in this video i use a thing called keynote so both of the apps that i use are already pre-downloaded onto apple products so like imacs and macbooks because that's just what i use to edit obviously if you use something else it would be a little bit different i find keynote really good to be able to make like animation things i also use keynote as like a green screen to put like text on the screen i hope that helps if you guys have any more questions about editing please drop me a dm and i will be happy to help not that i'm really that good at it anyway but you know and then i got asked what equipment do you use to film so i use a variety of stuff i'm gonna take a video now for you guys on my phone so it won't be very good quality but of what i've currently got set up so i've currently got up my ring light this is from amazon i actually just spoke about it in a vlog that i am filming today so this was a hundred pound from amazon i think around about there and it just comes with a tripod it also does actually have an attachment for your camera but i personally don't like it because i think it's just a little bit dodgy I then also have a tripod for my camera. Also, ignore the mess behind me. It's really not cute. And then obviously attach my camera to that. Oh, wow. I'm dropping tea. Spilling tea. <laughs> wow. Someone please help me. Someone then asked, how long do you spend making videos a week? It really just depends on the kind of video. Like, obviously, when I'm doing 24 hour challenges, those videos will take me a whole day. But when I'm making this video, it'll probably take me like an hour to film and a few hours to edit. I do find editing vlogs a lot quicker purely because you don't tend to do any like effects on vlogs. Well, I personally don't, I don't really like the style. Obviously like main videos obviously take a lot longer, but I'm actually currently filming the video that's gonna take me a whole month to film. It really just depends on the video to be honest and obviously what content you make. I like this one. Someone said, what is being a YouTuber really like? I feel like a lot of people just think that doing YouTube is like such an easy job. You just film a video, you edit it, you upload. What's hard about that? But the thing with YouTube is it's literally a 24 7 job so obviously in a lot of other jobs i'm not saying in every single job it's like this but a lot of jobs you work nine to five and you go home and that's it obviously some people have to pick up some work from home but that's the general gist of a lot of jobs being a youtuber you literally work 24 7 social media is your job so the thing that i find hard to explain to like my friends who aren't in the youtube world or social media world i could post a video promote it on instagram post a photo tweet 
but that's all part of me doing YouTube and obviously having a presence on social media. And then they'll be like, why aren't you replying to my messages? I'm like, well, actually I'm working. But then they're like, well, you just posted. I'm like, yeah, that's part of the job. Like, you know what I mean? So a lot of people don't understand that. And it's just a very stressful job. Like, you have people waiting on you to upload videos and you want to obviously make people happy and entertain them. But at the end of the day, you're the one making the content. You've got to make it good and you've got to try and like not offend anyone whilst doing it. I feel like I'm just gonna have to go into this one now because I've probably been asked it about 70 million times. Basically, how much money do YouTubers make? So obviously, again, I cannot speak for everyone on this platform because it is so varied. Like, and even my money is so, so varied that I couldn't tell you an exact amount or even really a range of it because it really just depends on the month and how well my videos have done, if I've got any brand deals. For me right now, I wouldn't be comfortable with taking it full time. Maybe by the end of the year, Year, I might be in a different situation. I probably could quit my job and like just about get by with it but I don't really want to take that risk of like one month having a rubbish month and not having any money and then I'm like struggling to pay for my car, my petrol, my bills like do you get what I mean? It's a little bit of a stress. I feel like a lot of people are going to want to know like how to make money on YouTube and there are three main ways to make that money. The first way is through your AdSense and that is basically the money you get paid for putting ads on your videos. So people obviously put a different amount of ads in videos, some people literally like put them in like every two minutes, some people don't put them in at all and I personally have one at the beginning, one at the end and maybe one in the middle it depends how long the video is if it's like 20 minutes I might have two in the middle somewhere just because it's a long video it's taken time to make obviously if you work you want to be paid for your work does that make sense I feel like it's so stupid when people get annoyed at YouTubers for putting ads in their videos because at the end of the day would you work for free probably not so I think just you know unless they're taking the piss obviously be a little bit annoyed but you know just accept it that they're trying to just make a living out of it to continue making videos for you guys that's kind of a rant I'm sorry the second way of making money which could possibly be like the main way for a lot of people brand deals so basically with a brand deal it's just when a brand and comes to you and asks you to promote a product and they will pay you a sum of money for that. It could be on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, honestly any of your social medias and they basically tell you what you want, you give them rates and you just see if it fits their budget and if it doesn't then you can adjust them or say no. It's honestly up to the creator at the end of the day. I personally wouldn't take on anything that I don't agree with because at the end of the day, I value your guys' trust a lot more than going with a brand that I don't really agree with. And then the third way of making money is by affiliate links. So getting money through this way is a lot longer and you probably don't get as much money, but it just kind of helps towards the influencer. I personally don't use a lot of affiliate links, probably should, but I don't. But that's mainly because I just, I don't really do hauls on my channel. With affiliate links, the way it works is the price is exactly the same. It just means that the influencer just gets a small percentage of it. If you guys buy, like, say if it was like a denim skirt that you guys wanted to buy, the influencer would get a small percentage of that. But that doesn't affect the actual price of the skirt. It's just from the company, if that makes any sense. Technically, nothing for you guys is changing. You're just helping out, like, your favourite influencer, which I mean... Why would you not do that? Again, with brand deals, someone asked how many brand deals do I get? So again, it really just varies on the month, on how my videos are doing, because obviously when a brand comes to you, they're gonna be looking at your analytics and seeing like how your videos are doing, how your engagement is. And I feel like a couple of months ago, I think I had like three brand deals in a month in literally like the space of like two weeks I had to get out and I felt really bad about it because I didn't want you guys to think that I was just doing it for the money because I think that two of them actually weren't even paid. That's a thing to note as well. As a smaller YouTuber, not every single brand that I work with will be paid. So a lot of things I could get gifted and they just want me to talk about them or hope that I talk about them in a video. A lot of bigger YouTubers will probably have at least one brand deal a month, if not a lot more. And again, it just depends on the size of your channel, your engagement, the size of your Instagram following. Like, it really just depends. So another question, which I think I might start bringing this to an end because I've literally been filming for so long now, is how long did it take me to get big? How do you grow your channel? How do you get to be a big famous YouTuber, even though I'm definitely not one of those? Really hard question to answer because firstly, I don't feel like I'm a big channel i'm really not like we're nearly at 40k which is like massive for me but obviously compared to a lot of people tiny 
my nudes. I started my channel on the 2nd of July 2017 so it will be my second year on YouTube this July and honestly this time last year I was on 500 subscribers and by the time I'd hit my year I had literally only just hit a thousand subscribers so I feel like it's really hard to compare your growth to other people. Obviously the number of subscribers don't mean everything but it's a really nice little nod to say like you're doing well and people like what you're doing. My tips to grow a channel would be consistent with your uploads, film videos that you enjoy doing because people will be able to see through you. If you hate filming a video, they will know. And my final tip that I always give people is please, please, please be yourself. And I always say that I think I'm exactly how I am, but just a little bit more exaggerate because obviously on camera, you need to have a little bit more like pep in your step, you know, you've got to have a little bit more energy. That doesn't mean that you should sacrifice who you actually are as a person and put on like a whole alter ego. I think it's super important to be yourself, otherwise when people meet you, it will be like a letdown for people and there is nothing worse than meeting someone that you really, really love on camera and then you meet them and you're like, oh, okay, um, interesting. <laughs> someone said you like your own voice when you watch your videos. Um. I wouldn't say I like it, I think I'm just used to it now. I think when I first started doing it, I used to hear my voice. Like, my mum watching it, I'd be like, oh my god, turn it off, I don't want to hear it. But now I'm, like, totally fine with it. I kind of just take the piss out of myself, go, hi guys, it's a little virtual chair. <laughs> this one says, do you feel vulnerable putting yourself out on the internet open to judging and hate? I wouldn't say that I ever feel vulnerable. Obviously, putting your life online is a very, very big step to take and it puts you in a vulnerable situation. But I feel like if you're thick skinned enough and you can take it, then you shouldn't feel vulnerable whilst doing it. Obviously, everyone's gonna have an opinion on you at the end of the day. Not everyone has to like everyone. I never really used to get a lot of hate or judged a lot. Obviously, when you're a smaller channel, people who don't like you just will not watch you and probably won't even bother commenting on you. But as you do start to grow, you do obviously get those people that comment hate. And I personally just laugh at it because I think, you know what? You've just given me a view, which helps me. And you have also just wasted time in your day to try and make my day bad, but I'm actually just laughing at you. So really, that just backfired on you. Whenever I get hate, I just delete the comment because I just think, you know what, you're just being an idiot. Like, I actually just don't care what you think. Like, I'm not deleting them because I can't take it. I really can. But at the end of the day, I don't want your hate comment on my video. It's meant to be a positive place. And I'm putting myself out there for people to look at. Obviously, have your opinions, but you don't always need to share it. <laughs> Our final question for this Q&A is something that I'm going to make into a very soppy thing and cringy. So enjoy and it says do you ever feel like giving up with youtube when things aren't going great i don't think that i've ever really wanted to give up on youtube i'd be lying if i said i haven't actually like contemplated it probably for like five seconds and most of that happened when i first started up my channel i feel like okay so when i come across in a really like i don't know the wrong way that I don't want it to come across in. You will hear so many people say, I don't care about the subscribers, I don't care about my views, like I just love doing it. And I'm sure for a few people that's probably very true. But when, as I said earlier, when you work so, so hard at something and you put all of your time and all of your effort and you're so proud of something, it doesn't do well, you're just like, great. Like, I really thought that that was gonna be like a good video. I thought people were gonna love it. And that is obviously very, very demotivating when doing youtube obviously when you're working from home like you need like your own motivation it just does get to the point where you're like i don't even know why i'm doing this anymore like i love doing it with all of my heart but people just aren't like vibing with it and it really it does make you want to quit i'm not gonna lie and as i said i'm speaking for myself but i feel like a lot of people probably aren't very honest about it and i want to be real with you guys i don't want to sugarcoat anything that really just does get you down and the thing is though when you have the youtube motivation buzz it is the best feeling in the world like I've got it right now and I'm like yes like let's do this bring on all the videos and I don't really have many video ideas having the motivation really helps you want to do it and when you don't have the motivation you're like well I'm just gonna quit then the amount of times I said I'm gonna quit YouTube but I don't actually mean it I've never really actually wanted to give up on it otherwise I would not be funny but if I don't enjoy it then I wouldn't be doing it I'm not gonna quit YouTube anytime soon just in case anyone thinks I am obviously it used to be dance as my top priority but now it's YouTube dance, so yeah. I love doing YouTube so, so freaking much. You like when you're just, you just love something so much that it literally hurts your heart to think about not doing it. That is how I feel. I don't ever feel like quitting anymore. That was really soppy and gross. I'm so sorry, I'm really not a cringy person, but YouTube's just so great, but obviously stressful, but I love that, like, 
it would be boring if it wasn't right guys so i'm gonna end this video here it's literally been the longest video ever to film so i really hope it hasn't turned out into that much of a long video as i'm so sorry but i really hope i've answered all of your questions if you guys do have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comments dm me if you want to start a youtube channel or have any other comments and i will be sure to answer you guys i just want to say we are so so close to 40,000 subscribers which is so like it's actually mad just thinking about it kind of put it to the back of my head like that's not even a lot of people but it really is i just want to say a massive massive thank you for that and the support i've been receiving recently has been crazy if you guys did like this video don't forget to leave it a massive thumbs up comment down below what you thought and obviously if you aren't already make sure to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all very soon with a new video Bye.